welcome to vlog 9 it's me Kay and today's vlog is gonna be scrumptious because we're gonna be eating cooking and enjoying food from hawkers restaurants and my home cooked meals and then later we're gonna be despairing we're going to find out how much they actually cost but I'm excited to find out because I don't actually know how much we spend on food every week so let's go and find out $10.50 This store is very popular with the locals so we grabbed the opportunity to buy it when the queue was short We had bihon and sungkwe Sungkwe is made of rice flour with bamboo shoots inside so it tastes like fresh lumpia which is very nostalgic and tasty For lunch, I had to do a grocery run so that we have food for the next three days, which is Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And because I didn't really have any time to cook, we just had rotisserie chicken and salad. Well, I had salad while my husband had rice, leftover rice. <laughs> Fall to another place on my way. And so today's lunch is chicken, avocado, corn, onions, salad. Just mix them all. For dinner, we usually only have leftovers, which is what I also give to my little girl, Luna. She's enjoying this one so much because she loves corn and chicken and noodles. These are all her favorite food. Since Luna goes to childcare, she only eats dinner with us, sometimes breakfast. She usually has some kind of fruit. That day was mangosteen. She loves it. It's her first time actually. So this is breakfast for today. It's hummus. For breakfast, I mix hummus with kaya or mayo with kaya. They're an acquired taste, but, but once you acquire it, it's so good. You'll be addicted. For lunch, we're having a Japanese-Filipino pork belly hybrid. This is actually humba, but using Japanese seasonings like mirin and sake. This meal never fails to satisfy and we have this until dinner. Yay, free food. I'm always starving in the morning so breakfast is always quick and simple and this day was egg sandwich. So I have egg sandwich for breakfast and coffee as usual. Here's what's cooking. I bet it's too salty because I ran out of garlic, so I'm using garlic salt. <laughs> How much water I removed? I think it's uh, three cups in total. But now it's looking so pale. <laughs> Still edible though. Let's see how good it is. The broccoli is actually delicious. Salty, but it's a good salty. I eat apple and ice cream and noodles and mommy's yummy beef. My my mommy always cooks yummy food and I love my mommy. Mommy. 
me see myself. It's sunny at the most days. You'll never see the sky if you keep looking down. And if you take the wrong way, then done. I'm doing this frisky selfie on the bus because I also feel cute. <laughs> so we didn't have anything for dinner already because we were so full. You can find beauty in the night too, but it's harder to see. The next morning I slept in while Luna woke up early. She walked with her daddy to buy breakfast. Thank you. Oh. This is day five lunch, one of the best and simple meals. This is wonton and ayam penyet from the hawker. That's it. The total for the week is $145 or $5,000. $5,000. Or $5,350. I think we were very frugal from Wednesday to Friday because we did not eat out and I have been cooking. It was delicious. Was it your favorite? Yeah. Yeah. We need this picture here. But on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, mommy, mommy, yeah. we need this picture over here. Yeah, we had to go out, so we had to eat out, which is also how we bond as a family. This, is this so picture. It is necessary and cheese. Mm -hmm. Even though it was more expensive than the expenses we had for so the weekdays, I think in Singapore standards we were spending average. Say. We're spending Say. as much as the average Singaporean household Say. would be. Cheers! Yes! Let me know how much you spend in your family, how much you spend in a week. Uh, and one dollar. Let me know in the top. Yeah, one dollar. What? Mm -hmm. Please, please comment, share, subscribe. Comment, share. If you enjoyed Com this comment, video, and comment, share. we hope to make more soon. Bye. Okay.